Mouth of Serenity, Part 2, by Robert J. Morris. Here I am, here she is, that choppy melancholy whistling away. It wants me still like it failed before, but I won't go. I'll let it sing its cellophane song until there's no emotion, but there is a message. Come now and you'll be spared. It just wants me to feel safe. No one is here to see me disappear in the mouth of serenity. She likes it that way apparently, so much that she finds ways to mimic the sounds of day speaking through the lips of aqueduct vents. She gets louder, she gets angrier, like she's mad that I haven't joined her as much as I'd like to. I still have much to do. She yells and she crashes in the distance, but I only pay at her objective conclusions so that the constant boiling turmoil is no different than that of someone, a much less significant someone, like one you may meet on the street. They may ask for more than you can spare, but this one commands my time and governs my future lineage, so I must listen. The mouth of serenity with her massive symphony has spoken, so I must listen. There's no other option unless I want to walk away. Even on the rocks of the shoreline, there's a gamble when venturing near the mouth of serenity. (laughs) 